right? Right? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. This is their new formula, so I'm gonna be trying it out for the first time and letting you know what I think. And since Halloween is right around the corner, I'm also gonna be talking about some paranormal shit that I have experienced or family members have experienced. So if you wanna hear some stories and what I think about the foundation, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the primer. This is the Benefit Professional. This one's the hydrating um, formula though. They have a regular mattifying and these all smooth. So I really like these. And besides trying, I'm gonna be trying the new um, Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. Now this shade might be a little dark on me just because when I ordered this, um through my job i thought i was supposed to i thought i was going to get it during the summer but due to the pandemic it took a little while so just bear with me and i'm also going to be talking about paranormal shit you know halloween is just around the corner and a lot of people are iffy about going out and stuff i'm iffy about taking my kids out so I was like, people might just want to sit in at home and listen to some stories. Now, have you guys ever experienced any paranormal shit? Because I know I have. Um, and also, I'm going to be using the shade Warm Nude for this, okay? So, I know I have um, in my house. My house is like my dad's, well, it's my dad's house. My dad's house is more um, old school. So, a pe a lot, actually a lot of people that have lived in the house um, have said that they have experienced um, just like paranormal shit. For the people that visit, don't be scared, y'all. <laughs> none, none's gonna happen to you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so one of the stories that I have was actually, I think I was probably like 13... I think I was probably 13. Um, one of my good friends who I consider a brother, um, he took over a movie. And this was actually um, the Const Constantine movie. I think that's what it was called. You guys. We're all excited because we used to love, used to, I used to love watching um, scary movies. And... Um... It was literally just the beginning of the movie when I asked them, I'm like, there was this man reading shit backwards and I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Like, who is that? Why is he reading his shit backwards? And the moment he told me it was like the devil, the door, there's a door in my, in my dad's basement and it has, um, that's where we keep the boiler. And he always kept that lock, like with an actual lock. Cause he's like, ever since you guys were little, like you guys would play hide and seek and shit. He's like, I would never want you guys going in there. So he literally kept it locked the whole time. So tell me why the moment I asked him who who it was that was reading that shit backwards, the door slammed open. But the crazy shit was that they knocked it from the inside out. So the lock, it like flew. All that shit that was in my dad's um inside the little room. Cause it was like the boiler but then he had like shit on the other side where he can store like just shit that he would use for for fixing the boiler and stuff tell me why that shit flew like it, dude we fucking ran like we ran up them stairs and i remember at that time um there was this lady who was visiting my mom and she heard a scream so she got so scared and she literally got her ass up and she told my mom do sis i'll be back um i'll be back soon and she has never came back <laughs> um but that shit was crazy dude we fucking ran and i told my sister man me and me and my friend were like man we've never seen you run that fast in our life like that shit is fucking crazy and um my mom was like what happened this and that like why are you guys screaming and we're like dude something literally 
just fucking scared us downstairs. And she's like, you guys are crazy, this and that. And then I'm like, no, you're going downstairs first. So we, we pushed it to the front and we all followed her ass. And then my friend, he, he thought like we were pranking him. He's like, no, you guys are probably pranking me. Like there's, or someone's scaring me. At that time, my cousin used to live there with us. Um, and he's like, it's probably your cousin. And we're like, no, what the fuck? My cousin's all the way on the other side. Like, there's a big ass separation between the boiler and where my cousin was staying at. And um, he's like, are you sure? And then we're like, yeah, let's go knock to my cousin's room. So we go and knock. And then he's like, what the fuck happened? Like, why are you, what's all that noise? Like, he didn't even know what the fuck was going on. And we're like, dude, someone just literally scared the shit out of us. And he was just laughing like he thought, he's like, really? He's like, I've been on the phone with my mom. He's like, and we're like, what? We're like, we thought it was you, you know? And he's like, no. So my friend, he's like, fuck that, I'm leaving. He took his movie, he tossed that shit out on his way home. He's like, I'm never watching that fucking movie again. Crazy thing, it was just the beginning. Like, it was probably only like 10, 15 minutes into the movie. We never watched again. But that was one of the craziest shit that has happened. Um, that I could say that has made me not want to watch certain type of movies that have to do with shit that we shouldn't be watching. Because I'm like, fuck that. Like, that shit's never happening to me again. So that's one of them. Um, and then um, one time when we were in Mexico, my sister, I don't know who. Who of you guys know about La Llorona? The... I don't know how you say that shit in English. In English. You know what I mean? La Llorona. La Llorona. Um, so I know a lot of you guys have heard stories and there's even like the, the movie that came out and shit like that. But... Um, my mom has heard her when she was in Mexico. She said when she was young she heard her. And we were like, really? Like... Um, what does it feel like this and that you know she's like it literally when you hear her cry it like paralyzes you like you can't even fucking move so we were like what so tell me why one time when we were in mexico um my sister went with me that went with me and my mother that day that time and um she was just my sister was having like anger issues like she always has problems but for this particular trip she had some issues <laughs> so um she fucking hurt her like we were sleeping it was probably like two o'clock in the morning or around that time it was past midnight and i remember my daughter at the time she was i think like two or three months that i had taken her um because my mother-in-law had passed, so I, I, I went over. And um, my sister fucking woke up um, fucking screaming and shit. And we were like, what the hell? We thought someone had gotten inside the house, you know? And she's like, oh my God, tell her to stop fucking crying. <laughs> and I was like, bitch, who the fuck is crying? You know, like me and my mom were like, what the hell is she on? Like, we don't, we don't hear shit. And then we had um, one of my, um, I think one of my aunts was staying with us that time. And we all fucking like, we were all fucking like worried and shit. Like what the fuck is my sister listening to? Tell me when my aunt never woke up. Like she slept through the whole fucking like commotion and shit. And, and we were like, can't, you know, like, and I was telling my sister like, what are you on? Like, why I don't hear shit, you know? And she's like, oh my God, like I hear her tell her like, Oh my god, and she would just cover her ears like, oh my god, like, and she was shaking, and I was like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? Point is, and it's so fucking crazy, like, none of my mother and I, we did not hear her. And it was fucking crazy that the only one who heard her that time was my sister. And I was like, because you're a bitch, that's why. I'm like, that's why you heard it, because you're a bitch. No, it's just crazy to me, like, I'm, I thank God I have never heard her, but my sister said, like, the way she fucking cries and shit like it's crazy so i feel like only people who have experienced it or gone through shit like that like those are the people that that can actually like um like agree with you like they feel you you know because 
I know a lot of people who've never who have never experienced um paranormal shit, but shit. If I could make a movie, I would. Cause I've heard stories, like crazy stories. Even people who I've lived in my house. But point is that time um my sister was like fucking crying and shit and then because she fucking hurt her and um the next morning we told my aunt like the one who had slept with us in the same room that day and she's like what she's like, she's like i didn't hear anything i was sleeping through and i'm like yeah no shit you slept through it all like i literally like fucking flew to <laughs> to hug my daughter you know and then like um that time my sister had taken her baby with her too, um, Layla. So, um, she, she fucking, um, like I grabbed her ass too. I'm like, uh-uh. If she's going to take someone, she's taking your ass because she's not taking none of these kids. <laughs> but, um, it was crazy. Okay, so, so far I've done, just, um, concealed my eyes. I, I had already done my brows. I'd set the concealer. I always like to use concealer in my list just because it evens like the discoloration in my eyes. So I did set it with a little bit of powder. I already have my lashes on. Um, these are from Sephora. These are, this is the first time I try like so, these type of Sephora lashes. They're called flirty. They're actually pretty nice. And the band is so thin. Like it's, I don't feel them heavy in my eyes and it doesn't, they look super pretty and natural. Um, but foundation. I actually feel okay about the foundation. Um, so far, I like it. It feels lightweight. Obviously, it's more of a matte formula, and I feel like I look dead right now. Perfect for the um, video we're doing today. But I'm gonna bronze myself up because I feel like I look fucking dead too. So now I'm gonna keep on going with concealer. So yeah, you guys. Um, that was that was fucking crazy that day yeah, and i told my aunt like the craziest shit is that you you literally slept through the screams you slept through my sister's screams like you did not give a fuck like there was nobody nobody was gonna take you away from your nap um but yeah that's one and then um let me know if you guys have like if your parents have hurt her or if you hurt her or like anything crazy like that you know oh and then one time well the, the only time that i've experienced something crazy like that was when we watched that movie like that was like the craziest shit that i, that I have experienced um and my sister fucking going crazy and screaming too um but other than that, it's mostly like stories that I've heard. Um, stories that had had to do with like my house, with my dad's house. Um, like a lot of people that, that had lived there before, they said that they've experienced like paranormal shit. Thank God nothing else has happened. Um, after that time, I think after that time of the, um, of the movie. Because um, we pray, we be praying y'all. But like, ain't nobody got time for that, you know? Um, so, nothing else has happened. But there's been other crazy fucking stories that people have told us that, that has happened in, 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 our, in our house. Like, back in the day, um, someone... <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say who, because shit, I don't know. But someone um, that was living there, they actually grabbed their ass from the bed. <laughs> and they fucking... Um, from like they took her ass from the room and they were sliding her all across the hallway. People who've been in my house know what hallway I'm talking about. It's gonna be upstairs, the upstairs um, hallway. That's where I'd be staying. That's where my place is at. But they had fucking grabbed their ass and they took them from their bed and they fucking mopped their ass. They fucking mopped the floor with their ass because. They grab them from the feet and they drag them like it's crazy. So that's one. Another time, um, one of my cousins, I'm not gonna say who either, because you guys don't probably know him, but um, I remember that person used to listen 
Um, did you guys ever? Do you guys ever remember about the um, that show that used to come out? I think it was Midnight. Se llamaba um, La Mano Peluda. That's what the show used to be called. Um, so this particular person would always listen to that. Like that was their shit because what basically that station would do is they would um, people would call and do exactly the same thing I'm doing. They would talk about paranormal shit that they have experienced. Um, and this time, like my that person was so fucking obsessed with that show until they got a phone call. Um, on their cell phone, and they answer. And the only thing that you can hear was someone fucking screaming. Like, like they, it was literally they, when they answered, it was a voice, and it was just someone yelling, like in between yelling and like crying on the phone. And they, the crazy shit was when the show would start. That would be like that scream would kind of be like an intro to the to the um, particular show starting on the radio. So it was so fucking crazy because the same scream that the person heard when they answered was the same scream that was on the show when they would start. That mm, my cousin fucking dropped the phone and flew like it was crazy. Like, she literally ran her ass out of the room. And, you know, when you go and you go tell your, either your parents or your tia, it's like, oh, shit, guess what happened to me? What's the first thing they tell you? What's the first thing they tell you? They're like, but keep listening to that shit, right? Keep, <laughs> keep listening to that shit. That's the first thing they tell you. First, before they even, okay, right now what I'm doing is I'm setting my face with the um, Laura Mercier setting powder and I love to do the puff because I feel like it kind of leaves my complexion really smooth. Yeah, so before they even tell you anything like, oh, I'm so sorry, are you okay? The first thing they tell you is they talk shit. They're like, but who told you to listen to that shit at midnight, right? Keep listening to that. And after they fucking um, curse you on and shit, then they're like, okay, come here so I can put some holy water on you. <laughs> right? Isn't that the first thing? But after that, my cousin never, never listened to that again. Like, up to this day, I'd be reminding, I remind that person. I'm like, it's a she song. Like, I remind her, hey, you remember when you used to? She's like, hell yeah, don't even talk to me about that. <laughs> and I'm like, I think I gotta hear my mouth. And I'm like, but nadie te mandó, right? Nadie te mandó escucharlo. So right now I'm doing the um, Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This is the matte version. Um, I like to do this, especially now since we have to wear masks, just because this one is more, it's a waterproof bronzer. And I have tried it and it literally is, at least on my skin, it doesn't move. Like I put my mask on, when I go into the store, I come out and my bronzer is still intact. So I always like to do this one. It is a matte um, formula too. And then I'm gonna tell you what else I do on top of that. Um, but yeah, you guys, and then. Oh, and then I'm, I'm telling you, my sister has issues like, um, when she was little, she was probably, I think my son's age, she was probably three or four years old. She used to hear, I like to, okay, I'm gonna um, stop real quick. When I grab the bronzer on a like, fluffy brush like this, I like to kind of go over, not only my forehead, but I kind of like to dab a little bit on my lid, just to bring a little bit of warmth to it and not make the lid look like, just bare, you know, like plain, like, well, I think everything to kind of flow together. Okay, so back to the story. When she was like about three or four years old, this this crazy little girl, I'm talking about my sister. She used to talk to like a little girl. And guess where, you guys? Guess where? Yes, you're right. My house. In my dad's house. 
she my mom would um hear her talking to a little girl and i told my mom you know probably your daughter was crazy like you probably, like she would probably had like a mandatory friend and she's like no like this shit was legit like Sometimes, she's like even sometimes my sister's voice would change like she would talk like a different person almost like if something was got inside of her or some shit and I told my mom man you got some fucked up kids yo. <laughs> I was like that shit's fucking crazy like I don't even know what I would do like if anything like that happened to me I was I would fucking I'll be so scared um, where the fuck is my other brush? Okay, right now I'm just gonna sculpt my nose with the same bronzer. But yeah, um, and then I think my mom investigated, um, because like I mentioned, the house is like old school. So she kind of investigated on to know more about what who used to live in the house, like what happened there. And the only thing she told me was I didn't want to keep looking more into the history of the house and the history of the people that used to live there because she's like, it was like some crazy shit that happened there. So she's like, I didn't even want to keep fucking with it, you know? So she's like, I, what she did was she called, um, she contacted a priest and they went to go like pray and, and, um, Put like holy water all over the house and my sister and finally she found some peace and my sister stopped um talking to this little girl and she stopped um freaking crying in the middle of the night and just some crazy shit okay right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna since i already mattified my face um right now i'm a little bit on the drier side so i'm gonna put some glow in my life this is also from tarte i love tarte bronzers and fenty bronzers are my rider died so the difference between this one because this one's also called park avenue princess as you can see the not only the packaging you know you see the packaging but this one it's more it's gonna be more of a shh, like a glow but it's not like glittery it's more of a natural glow that's why i love this bronzer so much so i'm also gonna go back in with the same um brush and then just kind of go over another thing if you've noticed um when i'm applying these they don't go on like really intense. I like these um, bronzers and the Fenty bronzers because you add on, but you get to build up on it. Like it, it's not really intense on your first swipe, you know? So I like to put this one on my, um, on my cheeks as well and on my forehead a little bit just to add on like a little bit of glow and so my skin doesn't look that dry but i'm also gonna add on highlighter um and i'm gonna damn i feel like i'm doing like a, a little tart session but this is my one of my go-to blushes this is called party it's such a pretty pretty pink like it's beautiful but anyways you guys i'm just gonna dab some on I like to put a little bit of my nose on the top because you kind of want everything to flow together. Um, I'm just going to do, I'm going to go on with the Becca highlighter. This is the Vanilla Quartz. But yeah, you guys, like my life has been, well, no, my, my, my sister's life has been kind of fucking crazy. But I'm like, te manda si es reversido tan I'm realist. She probably was like, Damn, you guys, did I glow? I was like, I told my mom, you should have just given her up. No. <laughs> so I did it with her ass. You should have just given my sister up. Let someone else handle her crazy shit that she goes through. And um, I'm going to go in with the cap on D. It's called Ophelia. Ophelia. 
some shit like that. And then the Makeup Forever in the number 600. This is one of my favorite formulas because you can use them on both lips and eyes. And it's such a pretty brown that goes with like nude lipsticks. So I'm gonna apply this and I'll be right back. So this is the final look you guys. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked my little stories. If you have experienced any um, paranormal activity or have any stories to share, feel free to comment down below. I want to hear your stories. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And the finished thought about the foundation is it's really nice. It's really um, lightweight. I want to compare it to the new NARS um, foundation that they launched too. So I'll be telling you which one I like a little bit better. But so far, so good. I feel like it's more of a sh sheer to medium for me. Even though it says it can be up to full coverage. But I particularly feel like it's more medium. Which I don't mind. Because I don't like... A lot of coverage on an everyday face but yeah I feel like it looks nice don't forget to pick up your shade at your local Sephora please if you try it let me know if you've already tried it let me know what you think and don't forget to follow our social media as well we will be doing a giveaway um, we're gonna be partnering up with someone so stay tuned for that and thank you for watching